What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I got this little spray here to clean mass airflow sensor. Uh, it is tend to increase miles per gallon and fuel economy, preparing to gain four to 10 horsepower. Ooh, that's nice. Improve air fuel ratio. Okay, that is very important, air to fuel ratio. So what happens is this sensor right here is called a MAF sensor. That's why they call it MAF, mass airflow sensor. So this sensor, what it does is it detects how much air is going through just by the air flowing right through it. It can create some type of voltage uh, and uh, not create some type of, it will, uh, it's, it works like a thermometer, but uh, it does its magic. But customer brought this and uh, he's gonna update me if it really affected. But anyways, we're gonna take this apart so you could do this on your vehicle. So it's very simple. Usually it will have two screws or it will have the whole thing will be assembly. So all you do is you remove these two screws. You disconnect the connector here. Okay. Come on. Once this connector come off, you're going to take off this screw right here. And you're going to be able to take off this MAF sensor. Okay. Notice MAF sensor can go two different ways. Okay, notice how it's attached from here to here and the connector is this way. So just pay attention to it. If you try to put it this way, it might fit, it might not fit. This one is clearly not gonna fit. But if you put it the wrong way, airflow is gonna go be going the wrong way and you're gonna have a wrong reading. What it does is it reads the air and it throws in that amount of fuel into the system. And also it works with your oxygen sensor. So it calibrates it off. With, uh, anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and clean this guy. So there's small little guy right there needs to be cleaned, and there's some little magic things in there. Anyways, let's clean this baby. Okay, guys. So to clean this little guy, all you need to do is grab your spray, and you take the sensor. You want to spray right on the little contacts inside there. Do it two to three times. Let it dry off. Give it, it's gonna dry off really quick, so give it a minute or two. Just do it two to three times. And even a little dirt and debris will cause a trouble to this guy. And it has a little seal right here, so make sure you put a little bit of lubrication and the seal sits properly. Anyways, time to let this guy dry off and put it back on the vehicle. Okay, we're back, trying to put this, so no blowing air in it, no touching, no nothing. So you simply take this little guy and you stick this right on. It should go in nice and flush. If your seal is lubricated nice and good, you take your little screws. If you put it back immediately and try to start it, your car might start up crappy, but just give it some time and it will start up good. And that's it. Bada bing, bada boom, we're all done. Thank you for watching and I am gonna be waiting for the customer to give us an update in a, uh, in a week or so. When you come back, it will be part of the video, so just continue watching for a few minute, minutes. Make sure you put your connector back on, and that's it. If you have a check engine light, reset it with the scan tool. Do not disconnect the battery. That will throw a lot of memory idle and speed off. Anyways, let the customer take this, and when he come back, we'll give you a feedback.